It happened four years ago this coming Sunday. A well drilled by the BP oil company blew out, killing 11 workers on the Deepwater Horizon rig and unleashing a gusher into the Gulf of Mexico for 87 days. Now, for the first time since 2010, scientists got a close look at the seabed not far from the capped well, and Chip Reed went along. 50 miles off the coast of Louisiana, we climbed aboard the research vessel Atlantis. Thank you. This is where we found Mandy Joy, a University of Georgia oceanographer and the leader of this expedition. She's been studying the Gulf of Mexico for 20 years. People who've never seen the bottom of the ocean can't appreciate how just phenomenal it is. Joy and her team of 22 scientists are spending this month diving to the Gulf floor in a Navy research submarine named Alvin. They want to know how the bottom is doing four years after the BP oil spill. Okay, Alvin diving. The answer is a mile down, a two-hour descent into darkness. We are on the bottom at 1,607 meters. Alvin landed just two miles from the well that spewed 210 million gallons of oil into the Gulf. This is the first time Joy, or any human, has been down here since 2010. What kind of marine life did you find down there four years ago? Four years ago there was nothing. I saw one crab in an eight-hour dive. It was gut-wrenching to go down there and see just nothing on the seafloor. How about now? It's very different. Now we saw eels and skates and a vampire squid, which I'd never seen before. That what does it mean to find a vampire squid in an area that had been dead? It means there's a lot of food. That was the good news. That's good, perfect. But there was potential bad news in sediment samples collected from the sea floor. This is mud. Yeah, and this is the oily layer. That's, that's from the spill four years ago. Yeah oily residue that she worries could adversely affect marine life in the longer term. This material that's on the seafloor, there's a lot of it, it's widespread, and it, it's just sort of sitting there, and nothing's happening to it. What does it mean to see that life at least is beginning to come back after that devastating oil spill? I was prepared to see little recovery, and I was so relieved. But there's still a long way to go. I think there's a long way to go, because again, this is one spot, and you can't apply what you see at one spot. To the entire system. Joy and her team plan to keep a close watch on the Gulf with four or five research cruises a year. She says it could be a decade before the full impact of the oil spill is known. Chip Reed, CBS News, aboard the Atlantis.